Hello, welcome back. The topic today is anemia and mood. That is anemia, uh, the impact of anemia on mood. So in the previous videos we have discussed about what is anemia, why it happens, what are the investigations, what treatment we have to give and all. And we simply again and we are going to stress this for whether you are male or female, your hemoglobin should be about 12, not less than 12. That's a rule. Okay. Then what is uh, how uh, anemia can affect a person's mood? Simple. So the purpose of the blood or the purpose of the hemoglobin is to carry the oxygen to each and every nook and corner of the body, each and every tissue. The tissues, the brain, your gut, your heart, your legs, muscles, everything should get the oxygen. And the toxic, the carbon dioxide has to be carried away in, uh, to be excreted out. So if oxygen is not going to the tissues, the perfusion is low because of the low oxygen, then definitely it can affect your mood. How simply, if your brain is not getting that much of oxygen, then your brain cannot be active, it cannot think properly, it cannot you know, uh, work. So you, what you use, you lose interest, you lose interest in any, anything and everything, not only your routine work, even you know uh, what you are interested. Uh, you know, suppose you are interested in movie, music, even you lose that interest because your brain is not, uh, uh, not getting the proper nutrition of oxygen. So uh, it, it loses interest. You, you are always irritated. So they can be irritated because uh, they won't be interested in anything. So they know something is wrong with them and they are not able to do even a simple task or work. So they will be always irritated thinking they are, they are incapable of doing something. They may not know the reason, but they know they are not they are not uh, capable of doing anything. So they'll be always angry, especially they'll be angry with the family members. But the same thing when when they go out, you know, if somebody you know shouts at them or they irritate them, they won't respond because they don't have the capacity or the strength to fight back. So they lose their fighting capacity. This is one thing, and anemia can cause severe depression because simply the brain is not active. So it's not interested in anything and they are very dull and because of the lack of interest they don't even do any physical activity not, uh, 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 not even a simple exercise not even a routine work so your body is always dull so there is no blood circulation the, uh, the brain is not getting proper uh, oxygen so they can easily get you know depressed and it will be very difficult to treat the depression because the the whatever the drug we give or the treatment give for the and the depression, it has to be carried away with the blood. There is less blood, so the effectiveness of the uh, uh, treatment also will be a compromise. So, anemia is a very common problem in women or it can at any age, but it can uh, not only affect other I mean, organs of the body, but it can affect your mood or your cell. It can cause psychiatric problems, depression anxiety you know your heart is always beating fast so they'll be always panicking so depression lack of interest you know they cannot think properly the cognitive function of the brain comes down so they always always irritated either they're irritated or they don't respond to the any external stimuli so check your uh, hemoglobin if you have any of these things and get a proper uh, treatment from your physician thank you